In this video, I am going to show you how easy it is to create backgrounds for Google Jamboard using Canva. To get started, you're going to want to go to canva.com. And then what you're going to do is come up to your search toolbar and type in online whiteboard. And then hit enter to search. Now, what's really nice about Canva here is that it already has a bunch of templates already set out for you that you can choose from. So you can come along here and take a look at all of the different templates, and there's so many of them, and pick one from here, or you can start with a blank one. So maybe let's start with one of the templates first, and let's take this mind map kind of idea one here. So you simply click on it and it's going to open up your Canva window. And then you can come in here and edit any of these elements. So if there's ones you want to get rid of, you just click on it and hit delete. Same with the text boxes. If you don't want that, you can also delete those. And you can go through and do that. You can also come in here and add different elements or features into your template as well. So the one I really like to do is I like to come over to the elements and then go into stickers. And if I click on see all, then I can see all of the different stickers here. I could also refine my search a little bit if I wanted to in here, but then you can come and grab any of these stickers. And if you click on them, it's going to add it to your design and then you can just resize, you can move it and then you can also rotate them. So I kind of like this one here. I've used this one a few times because it gives just that little bit of wow factor. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that one and then I'm gonna flip this one around and I'm gonna drag it down underneath here. So it gives that kind of like, you know, kind of a wow type factor. And then I'm just gonna delete out the rest of these notes cause I don't want them. Now, because this template itself has stickers in it or animations, it's going to automatically detect that it's a video. So what you would wanna do when you come and download that template is you're gonna click on download and it's gonna suggest an MP4 video, not what you want to be able to go and put into Jamboard. Instead, what you're gonna do is click on the drop down arrow and select GIF, and then you're gonna hit download. And that's gonna download your file for you. And it does take a minute here. Now, if you didn't have any of these stickers or animations in here, when you click on download, it would just say PNG. So maybe just while that's downloading, let's come over here and just create another one really quickly that we can take a look at that. So I'm just gonna pick this first template here. And you can see there's no kind of gifts or anything like that. So I'm just going to get rid of all those sticky notes. And then when I come to download, I can download it as a PNG. So I'm just going to do that and pull that one down. Now, when you're in here as well, you can change the template. So if you picked one that you didn't like and you wanted to switch over to something else, it really is just a matter of clicking on the different templates and picking the one that you want to use. And some of them even have other options. So this one here, for example, you can pick out of three different possible colors, which is also kind of cool. All right, we've got a PNG and a GIF downloaded. So I just wanna show you how to put both of these into Jamboard. So if I go jam.new, that's gonna start a new Jamboard for me. It's my favorite kind of, it's not really a shortcut, but it's a shortened way of entering in that URL. And we're gonna go to set background. We're gonna choose custom image. And then we can just simply drag and drop these into the upload window. So that just takes a minute to upload. And when it's done, it's gonna create that custom background that looks pretty nice from Canva. Now, when we go in and do the PNG, 
then it's same kind of deal. We're just gonna drag and drop it in there or you can go and browse either way, but it creates these really beautiful backgrounds for you in your jam boards. And I really like the stickers because then the animations carry over too. So that's, you know, kind of a bonus point there. And then really you're, you're done. I mean, we can go back over here and just take a really quick look at the blank template. So if you come into the blank template here, if you haven't worked in Canva before, we do have a podcast episode, so you can go and take a uh, listen to that. We'll link that in the description below for you but you could add photos as backgrounds, for example. You can come in here and add some text, like maybe I want this one here. You know, I don't really like the, uh, the color combination here, but I'm just kind of doing this on the fly. And then maybe you want to add in some elements. So again, maybe some of those stickers. Um, I kind of like this one with uh, the purple background because it gives a nice kind of contrast, but it's a really quick way to be able to create really visually appealing backgrounds for your Google Jamboards. The other thing that I'm going to link in the description below is also to our other blog post, which talks about setting your custom backgrounds in Jamboard. So it does go into a lot more detail in terms of what you can do in your background. So you might want to check that out as well. And finally, we've also got a podcast episode all about Jamboard. So if you really want to nerd out on Jamboard, you could take a listen to that. And I'll put that in the description below for you too. Make sure you check out the blog post that's associated with this video because we do have six templates that we've created just for you that you can go and grab. And they're ready to use resources that you can use right away with your students. So make sure you go over to our website and check out our free templates. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.